All right, welcome back to part eight of our shed design series. Hopefully this is the last video that uh, you guys will need to watch to complete your shed. So let's get started. Today we're going to be making a wall section and we're going to be cleaning up a couple other parts of our drawing that maybe we messed up or maybe we just need to update to meet our project requirements. So we're going to start out by opening up our floor plan. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then we're going to go to the view tab up here. Then we're going to click section. So that's going to allow us to create a section view. We want a wall section. So we're just going to section our wall and we're going to start by choosing uh, the inside. We want to choose a wall uh, that's going to allow us to see the slope of our roof. So in this case, we're going to try to choose this wall or this wall. I'm going to choose this wall because this one has our siding. This is our updated wall. At least I think it is. We'll find out in a minute. We wouldn't want to do this one because as of right now in my drawing, it's just a basic wall. Um, when your shed is all done, all of your walls are going to be either siding or brick or some other sort of wall that you created. We want to do a section of our wall with siding that we've spent a lot of time creating. So we'll start by clicking on the inside of our house and then we're going to click on the somewhere outside of our house and that's going to create that section. And from here can we flip this around? Let's flip it around so it's not facing towards like our cabinet. We want it facing uh, towards like the front of our house or actually or the back of our shed. Okay, so then from here, we should be able to see our section now. It's going to show up under wall sections. It's just calling it section two. So let's take a look at that. to tell what's all going on there because we don't have much detail. So I'm just adjusting the crop section so that we don't get uh, this humongous monstrosity when we try to put it into our sheet. We can update the detail level right now it's at coarse. Let's switch it to fine to see if we can see some more details in our wall. Looks like when we did that, we could. If I click on this wall, we can confirm that this is our shed wall with siding. So it looks like we picked the right wall. And then from here, let's update our scale as well. So right now it's quarter inch equals a foot. We're gonna switch it to half inch equals a foot. That's gonna give us even more detail. <coughs> and you can kind of see that now in here, so. That's much better. From here, I can already see a couple different things that I want to change. So part of our requirements for the project, we need to make sure this wall is a little bit different. So right now it's got metal studs because we just copied that brick with metal stud wall to create it. We don't want any metal studs. We're going to use uh, wooden studs. So we're going to go into our wall. So you can click it right from in here. Go over to edit type. It's going to pop up this menu box. You can see our wall. It's got the preview open. We're going to edit it. And then where it says metal stud later, layer, we can click the ellipses. It's going to bring up this menu. and You want to find soft wood lumber. So we'll click that, click OK, and it should update automatically. We're going to use 2x4s, so that's not going to be a 6 inch thickness. If you remember from class, I said a 2x4 is not really a 2x4, it's a 1.5 by 3.5. So we'll click, well, we'll type in 3.5. We're also going to update our plywood sheathing. Instead of 3 quarter inch thick, we're just going to make it 1 half of an inch thick. So we've got our sheathing updated, we've got our lumber updated, so we've got a 2x4 there now. Click OK, 
click apply, click OK, and that should now be updated. Perfect. All right, from here, another thing I'm seeing is uh, our topo surface or our topo surface is very uh, incorrect here. It looks like it's way below the floor of our shed and that's not good. So we want to change the floor of our shed. We're gonna change it to a six inch concrete floor instead of our fancy wood floor. So let's do that. And now our grass is even further away. So we want our concrete to actually be kind of dug out into the grass. So we're gonna try to bring our grass up even with the floor. So instead of having an offset, we're just gonna do zero inches. Apply that. It's gonna say they overlap. I'm just gonna say okay. And look at that. Now our grass is pretty much even with our floor. Let's go back to the 3D view and just check that out. Let's make sure we don't see any grass inside of our house or inside of our shed. Um, it looks like we don't. I was worried because they're the same height that you might see the grass. It looks like you can kind of see it there. What we can do, oh, there it is again. What we can do if we're worried about that, let's go back to our section, click on the grass. Let's just offset it like negative uh, one fourth of an inch. So that way it's definitely like always below our floor. And go back to the 3D view. That looks better. You can see in there we've got our concrete showing. We don't have to worry about it showing uh, over our stoop there. So. From there, we can go back to our uh, section view, and I'm seeing that this maybe isn't lined up with our wall, so let's just go check our floor plan, make sure everything is good there. Um, I need to click on my floor, so I'll go into my 3D view to do that. And it looks like everything's pretty much lined up. Maybe this one's off a little bit. Let's do our align. Okay, it looked like it was maybe off by a little bit. Let's lock that in place. This one looks good. That one looks good. I think it was just that side where we did our section. All right, so we can click the green check. Floor boundary is all good. One thing I'm noticing here, our 12 inch dimension is off. So to fix that, let's click here. Adjust our grips. Type in 12, enter. And looks like it's back to where it needs to be. This one is at 16, so that's good. Let's check out our section. And it's looking pretty good. So from here, what we want to do is we want to show whoever's looking at the drawing what's inside of this wall. So one of the things we're going to do is we're going to add some insulation. And insulation, I kind of have a personal vendetta against insulation in Revit because you have to do it manually. You can't do it as like part of the wall layer, or at least uh, when I was trained on this, they didn't show us how to do it automatically. So we're going to adjust our insulation width over here to... Oh, where'd it go? We're gonna adjust our insulation width to seven and a half because that is the size of this gap in the roof. So we'll start it roughly even with the edge of our wall. And then we're just going to drag. We want it to be pretty much right in between the gap from here to here, from here to here. So try to position it to the best of your ability. That looks pretty close. I may need to adjust this side a little bit. So I'm gonna hit escape, just so I'm out of my insulation tool. Now I can click on my insulation I placed, and I can try to maybe reposition it a hair. Okay, that's not bad. It doesn't need to be exact. This is more just for a visual. 
Um, let's try to extend it a little bit further out like that. Again, none of this is an exact science. Just do your best. Try to get it in that little gap. Then our wall insulation is going to be three and a half inches because that's the size of our two by fours. So set it to three and a half, click apply, and then you're going to start this one kind of up there. Drag it all the way down as close as you can get to the ground. Ooh, I did a pretty good job on that one. Looks like pretty much nailed it right in our gap. Perfect. So that's done. You can hit escape a couple times to get out of the insulation tool. And then from here, we're going to start annotating our section. So we want to label what all these different materials are that make up our section. So we're going to follow this screenshot. This is found on the website. So if I go full screen here, you can see some of the stuff we're going to be labeling. So we're going to label this bad insulation. Then we've got our rafters, two by eight. We've got our asphalt shingles on the top. We've got more insulation in the walls, gypsum wallboard on the inside of the wall, cedar siding on the outside of the wall, half inch plywood sheathing. We've got our two by fours and a six inch concrete slab at the bottom. So I'm going to put this over on my other um, monitor here, and then I'm going to go ahead and start labeling this. So let's hide our crop region. There we go. And then to annotate, we're going to go into text. So that's under the annotate tab, text. And we want to have those little leader lines, these saw here. So the leader lines are those horizontal and then angled with an arrow at the end. So we want to select this one right here to do that. So remember the first one was my bat insulation. So I'll just type in bat insulation, click somewhere else. Next one's going to be our two by eight rafters. So two by eight rafters, and those are at 24 inches on center. So from center of one to the center of the next, there's a 24 inch gap. Then we've got our half inch plywood sheathing. That's going to be right here. So that is our one half inch plywood sheathing. Just click somewhere else to get out of it. And then we have our asphalt shingles right up on top. Okay, that's it for the roof. Now we need to do our wall. So we'll start with our bat insulation. In same as the last one. Then we've got our half-inch gypsum wallboard on the interior of our wall. So one half inch gypsum wallboard. Then we've got our cedar siding on the outside. We've got our half-inch plywood sheathing right here. Then we've got some 2x4 studs. Those are going to be at 24 inches on center. And then last we're going to do our concrete slab. And that was a 6 inch concrete slab. Okay, that's it for our wall section. Now we can take this wall section we can actually plop it into our sheet. So unfortunately we're going to need another video to do that. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.